Hello, my name is Tom Haynes, and I work on the user experience team for Rational Team Concert. In this demo, you will learn how to set up and run a dependency build. Running a build can be a system resource intensive task, time, CPU cycles. Sometimes you have made minimal changes to only a few files. Why rebuild all files in that case? You want to rebuild only those files that have changed or depend on a file that has changed and or applications of interest. Also, you may have made a minor change to a file that doesn't necessitate a rebuild, such as a copyright statement change. Dependency build allows you flexible granularity of build definition and execution. This demo assumes that a Jazz build system, Rational Build Agent, is installed and running. Also, that for the project area, a build engine has been created by your administrator and your stream has been selected for source code data scanning. Finally, that system definitions, dataset definitions, language definitions, and translators have been added in your project area and have been associated with datasets in your JAS SCM and the Eclipse workspace is loaded from your repository workspace containing the components that include the objects of interest, including source code to be modified. We start by creating a new build definition for a dependency build. Select the dependency build rational build agent choice. If you want to experiment with pre and or post build actions, you can here and in the next panel. Add the build engine to the supporting build engines list. Specify the build workspace, the load directory, and the dataset prefix. Get these last two pieces of information from your admin. Select Generate Build File and specify the ordered set of desired language definitions. The generated build file will be attached to the build results as generatedbuild.xml on the Downloads tab. Check Build Changed Items Only. This enables dependency build. In the Build Subset Radio button area, you can simplify the build to a limited number of buildable programs or components. Right-click over the new build definition and pick Request Build. Submit the build. Click on the Refresh icon periodically to see updates to the progress. The build has successfully completed. Note the new activities associated with dependency builds. Let's open the generated build.xml file. You could use this file as a starting point, customize it, and then specify it directly in the build definition instead of generating it again. There is at least one log file created for each source file compiled. Since this is the first time we have run this build definition, it compiles all files as a baseline. Let's open one of these build maps in its editor.
We will now edit two source files and resubmit a build using the same build definition. We'll save a trivial change to a comment line. We'll also make a trivial edit to a second file and save the change. Let's look at the two files in the unresolved folder of the pending changes view. We will mark one file to be ignored for dependency builds. This means that although changes will be delivered, they will not be flagged as significant for the build. We will now check in and deliver the changes, then rebuild. Observe that you can make this a personal build and alter many of the build definition properties temporarily from here. We will uncheck the personal build box since we want to run the build the same as we did before. Note by the log files that only the epscmort.cbl file was rebuilt. The epscmrt.cbl was not because we had specified its changes to be ignored. I hope this demonstration has been helpful. Be sure to view the other demos available for Rational Team Concert and related products.